So in Canada, rather than put in a clean on it as soon as you come into the building, they install this. It's, a, it's got a clear top. It's got a clean out built into it for the sewer right on it. So this is how you would buy it. That's how it would be installed on the ground. Mm -hmm. So normally open. Okay, so that's a valve. And I'll show you how it works over here. So this would be our flow uh, path going down the sewer system out. So that would be your regular sewage going out. 95% of what goes down the sewer system is water, so it keeps this area always clean. O-ring here for a positive seal. Mm -hmm. so that would be what would be installed in your home. It's a combination clean out and valve. If your city sewer ever backs up, we have two flotation devices on each side of the gate. It starts the lifting action of the gate. Water pushes it across. About 45 degree angles there. So what happens is the water comes back really quickly. It's diverted into the sides. Hits the 45 and slams it shut. So that would be a combination valve and clean up for your main sewer. Where would you install that? In the basement? That like would be in a the pit? very first fitting that comes into the building. So in a building, what you have is uh, typically you guys install a bath, uh, uh, clean on in a building. So instead of putting in a clean on, you would install this because this gives you the clean on and valve. So you, this whole unit, this plastic unit, goes in that one right there. Okay. Not this thing. Yeah. That one. Right. Okay. That wow. Would go into there. Reverse it again. Let me see. And then what we also have is a, an access box. So this, your concrete would be about here. We'd have an access panel that goes up. Feel the back pressure there. Oh, very good pressure. So uh, this is something that's very popular in Canada. We and the reason why it is popular in Canada, we haven't done much with it in the U.S. Is in Canada we need airflow to our city sewers. So we have a city sewer in the street, and we have a venting system up on the building. Air goes back and forth, city sewer back to the. Uh, up through the roof, back down, so it just keeps going back and forth. Because this is normally open, we can go right on the main, so we don't affect any air circulation from building to city sewer. So if you put a regular check valve there, you would close off that circulation of air. So in, in, in the U.S., I think the closest you guys have come to that was a, uh, when you install a building trap. This is before my time, but when you guys did building traps or uh, every fourth house had to have no building trap to allow air to go back and forth. But that's what we do in Canada. So. Now the cost of this is about, the valve itself is about $65 wholesale. So it's not a very expensive product. Where would you buy one at if you wanted to put one in your home? You have to buy it at a local plumbing wholesale. Okay. okay now we do have cities buy valves from us. So cities have flood permit programs, you have flooded homes, you go in there uh, and you offer a valve or installation, they buy from us, so municipal, municipalities buy from us, but the only people that can buy is municipality and wholesalers can buy from us, okay. not, not plumbing contractors or homeowners. There is a site where you can get one if you're a homeowner uh, online, uh, it's backwatervalve-com uh, or something. And it's not our site, it's our valves. Okay. It's a retail site. 